The Bible speaks and it said, Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife and two of them shall become one flesh. That is when we talk about marriage, we are talking about total separation from your father, your mother, and you now join to your wife and both of you have become one. Somebody shall one. And also, I want you to understand that the subject of marriage is for mature mind. It's not for children. In the subject of marriage, marriage is for mature mind. Marriage is for mature people. When we talk about maturity, we have two kinds of maturity. You have spiritual maturity. We have, sorry, we have four kinds of maturity, sorry. We have spiritual maturity, you have mental maturity, you have physical maturity, you have emotional maturity, and permit me to add the fifth one, you have financial maturity. Now, until you meet up with these five levels of maturity, marriage will be a mystery to you. You have to be mature mentally. A seven years old boy can't be talking about marriage. A 12 old years girl can't be talking about marriage. There are people that are big in age, but mindset, they are, they are babies. That is why marriage is for mature people. Somebody shout mature people. Shout it louder. Marriage is for mature people. Now, if I'm going to get married, what are the things I should consider? As a man, you have to consider that. As a woman, you also have to consider that. The first set of maturity is what we call spiritual maturity. Somebody shall spiritual maturity. You can't say you want to get married and they are forcing you to come to church. There are some people that the devil have even deceived thinking that when you leave church, that's when you marry. They will tell you which brother is in lighthouse that want to marry me. Some people have been deceived thinking it's when they go to a big church that they will see a man to marry them. God can, because of you, send a man from Botaco to worry. Just because of you. There are people in mega churches that are not married. 50 years old ladies. It's about your heart and your maturity. That is, you must consider spiritual maturity. The person talking to you now, is he spiritually sound? Is he spiritually matured? Or is he a baby? A lady, you want to get married now, are you spiritually matured? Or you are still a baby? A man, a woman that can't take correction is still a baby. I can tell how matured you are by the way you take correction. I have seen people that when you correct them, they will run home and tell their parent, the pastor corrected me today. Is it maturity? When you refuse your pastor's correction, that means you refuse your father's correction. That is, if you are going to get married as a man, you have to check, are you spiritually matured? The lady you want to marry, is she spiritually matured? Because people prefer, prepare for wedding, but they don't prepare for marriage. Wedding is one, two hours. Three hours. Ah yes, five hours. Both reception and everything. But marriage is for a lifetime. That is, if you are going to get married, you must prepare spiritually. Do you know why? When you were single, you were fighting single battles. But the day you get married, the, the battle multiplies. There are battles from your wife's side, battles from your own side. Not to be spiritually matured is playing the risk. If you used to attend weekly meeting before, now that you got married, you should be more devoted to God. That's why it's a risk for a married woman or a married woman not to serve God. Coming to church does not mean you are serving God. Anybody can come to church. Serving God is getting involved in the affairs of God. That is, if you want to get married, you must check spiritual maturity. It's a must. But people forget and leave what they should check on and they are checking what is not relevant. You are checking bumble. You are checking six pack. 
bon bon does not keep marriage. There are many bon 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 that have divorced. They married today. The marriage is not up to two weeks. Divorce. I have seen people that married. They married three days. Scatter. The lady has all the bumbo in the wall. But couldn't keep the man. Sex doesn't keep a man. So I'm not good in sex. I will keep. No. If sex can keep men, they won't be prostitutes everywhere. Hello. Most of the men that patronize prostitutes, they are married men. Hello. That is your spiritual antenna must be alive. I don't value any man that does not take the things of God serious. Give me all the millions. If you don't love God, I'll be having issues with you. Because once you grow in God, you know that it is normal to give to his work. That is, if you are going to get married, you must check the growth rate of that man or that woman. I'm not. A, there are many girls that can dress. They will dress for Africa. After they finish dressing, they'll do like this. With all this, two weeks, marriage is scattered. Dressing is good, but it does not equal to marital virtues. When it came to the subject of marriage, God spoke. He said, who can find? That is a real wife is not seen everywhere. You can't just pick it on the surface. You have to find it. That is, if you want to get married. Now, as I'm teaching the subject of marriage, now some of you are playing. I know that. Eh? Are you ready? People pay attention to clothes, but they don't pay attention to their spiritual life. People pay attention to makeup. The real virtue of a woman is a spirit. It's a heart. It's not like this. It's not. With all your thing like this, guy go look at him. Why do guys leave town to go and marry in the village? Virtues. He said, who can find a virtuous woman? Character and spirituality. Character and spirituality. Character. You are not yet married, but your mouth runs like razor blade. You will get married. I thought you say amen. I thought you say better amen. amen. That is if you are getting married. Both the lady and the man. Check for spiritual virtues. How does he. How does she take the things of God. I have a son here. He brings the spouse to church. He comes. But there are some. They will meet the spouse. The spouse go carry the come for church. Most of the people where they carry young girls come up for children, amen. How many of you agree with what I said? Huh? Amen. Don't allow a man carry you out of your father's house. Church. You go say, come to my church. Because you are desperate to get married. You're wrong. You call the form. You know, you can't be bold enough to even tell your colleagues, say, now this thing. You can't even be bold enough to tell your brother or your sister. But you know what you don't under. So much has spirituality. Shout it louder. Shout it like a Christian. I'm not hearing that at all. The second thing you must check for if you want to get married as we begin to round up is physical maturity. Is it mature physically? You don't go and carry a, a, a baby. Say you want to marry. Physical maturity. is matured. It has the futures. Three. Is it matured emo, emo, mentally and emotionally? Is this somebody that you scold now? The next you go wrong to go and tell the mother or the father. So much emotional maturity. Shut mental maturity. You must check that. Now, for the men, listen, for the men. Young ladies, listen to me. Don't go and marry a man that can't take care of you. When the guy said, he wants to marry you, ask him, where do you work? 
Because if he doesn't have what he's doing, you'll be the one to suffer. It might not be big thing he's doing, but there's something he's doing that gives him daily money or weekly money. Somebody say I want to marry you, you are looking at six pack. Now, now Mugu get the look six pack. You know why many get women sleep outside? It's not six pack. Who six pack heck? Now fool gets the look six pack these days. We have person where just no get six pack and exploit six pack to be his bodyguard. We say, Mark, come here. Yes, sir. With his sister. Yes, sir. Is this sister that will make you the real woman? I have seen women that marry they kill their husband because they want their husband to get sister. They will tell the husband, they gym, they gym. Sister to six feet. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. Be wise. Be wise, oh. All my sons and daughters, I, 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 I pray into their marital life. I pray into their marital life. You know, there are people that will marry a girl. The girl will take them out of church. Praise the Lord. Guys, I'm, it's a cancer, fatherly cancer. When you want to marry, does that lady take cancer or she's proud? I'm not telling you that you will marry a perfect woman. But these are the things you should check on. See that? These are the things. So. You ent- a young girl, you enter a relationship, the guy don't talk you out of church. Are you normal? <laughs> there are some young guys. Young guys listening. A man has five assignments in a woman's life. The number one assignment is to protect the woman. If you can't protect your wife, you never mature to marry. Am I talking to somebody here? You are to protect your wife. Two, you are to provide for your wife. Three, as we begin to round up, you are to prefer your wife than anybody. No matter who you are, I prefer my wife than you. My wife might not be big as you, tall as you, yellow as you, but you're not my wife. You prefer your wife. Somebody say prefer. A man's strength is known by the quality of his wife's prayers. That's why to marry a woman that doesn't love God, you are running a risk. Now, big risk. Big risk. I don't tell you. Can I shock you? My wife knows not like this when we're cutting. I have to fan higher up. I have to tell her like this. Pastor wife, they behave. Pastor wife, they they calm and all that. She was calm before, but I have to induce the car to higher power. Praise the Lord. Prefer, prefer to your mother. See, you have to study and be smart. Am I teaching good this morning? Yes, sir. Talk to me. Am I teaching good this morning? Yes, sir. Wise up. Oh. You prefer your wife? We begin to round up. Thank you, Lord. You prevent her. There are things you should prevent your wife from experiencing. You prevent her from experiencing some, some traumas. Somebody say prevent. Shout it louder. Shout it like a Christian. You prevent her from corruption. You prevent her from harassment. You, you are in the house, in a compass. Somebody is insulting your wife. You're not a darling. Go inside. You see, even though I'm a pastor, I don't take those things. 
you see, am I talking to somebody here? Any pastor that is telling you that your wife is a witch or not, in, in no good sense. I'm telling you the truth. A real man of God will not tell your wife is a witch. Your wife took the place of your mother. Even deeper, can you have sex with your mother? The food that your mother they give to you, nobody they give to you now. God, they give you deeper food. Be wise. You prevent her from seeing corruption. Ladies, I thought you'd be saying increase the volume. Lastly, you permit her. Permit her. I have so much strength, my wife, that even when I permit her for something, self, she doesn't see it as permitted. You permit her. Give her allowance. Permit her. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. Yes. Young ladies, you never marry the guy. He don't spoil your pastor for you. If you marry now, your father and your mother will spoil for you. There are some ladies that marry after they marry. They know they feel see their father and mother again. They know they feel talk to them. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Now, wife, you have five assignments to your husband as we round up with this. One, submit to her. Submit to him. A woman that cannot submit should not think of getting married. No matter how big you are, let your husband be dwarf. You are still a wife. <laughs> God, God help you. Come marry short man. And you got you come and try to prove something. He will tell you. He said, Because I'm short, have you? <laughs> submit. If you don't submit, you can't succeed. As a woman, somebody say submit. Shout it louder. As a wife, you must submit to your husband. Your husband is your head. Submission. Any woman that submits to her husband will be great. Submit. Two, serve your husband. I've heard women say, am I a servant in this house? You don't know your assignment. Serve your husband. You are meant to serve your husband. If you can't serve your husband, you don't have a future. A real woman takes her husband as Lord. Man and woman are not the same. Oh. That's why to see a man to be crying is an insult of manhood. Hello? Some, serve her. Serve him. Have you not discovered that Odin this marriage the last past this one? Why? The wife will say, we all are the same. Didn't you hear pastor that said this thing, church? Serve. I beg your food is there. Nonsense. Never you marry a man you can't submit to. You can't serve. Hello? Do you know why a lot of men went to marry second wife? The first one was very rude and proud. Women are moved by words. Men are moved by what they see. <laughs> Hello? For those married people, they understand what I'm saying. Serve. Massage him back. His service. You are blessed. Are you getting blessed? Are you enjoying this class? Praise the Lord. Three. Wife, validate your husband. Tell your husband you are trying. Don't tell your husband. You teasing a man you be. Because you give me 400. What's wrong with you? That women that does that so validate your husband, validate him. Love you are trying. My validation comes from my wife. I will ask her, I hope I'm doing well. Say yes, you are trying. Validate him. A man you can't validate, you don't, you don't see a man's confidence starts from the house. That is, you serve your husband. Do what? Serve your husband. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. Support him. Support him. Support his ministry. Every man has a ministry. Support him. Pray for him. Where you need to pray for mercy for your husband. Pray for mercy for him. Pray for him more. Lastly, as you rise up to pray, seduce your husband. Seduce your husband. 
Stop writing. Stop writing. You know, I said, can't you see the way mama they dress? You know, be mama. Seduce him. Husband, go come back from work. You got the smell oil, smell pepper, smell onions, smell garlic, smell ginger. You be a boo. Answer now. Are you an Abba seller? You come out. Honey, you are welcome. But when you won't come out, you go make up a berepe. What are you making up for? The most important man in your life is your, is your husband. Once you love your husband, you honor your husband, it will reflect the way you serve God. I'm telling you. Your husband go to serve God, where go, but they go to sweet down. Wise up. Women listening to outsiders when the man is not satisfying them. Mm. I'm a ministry man. Oh. You can improve on yourself. Improve on your dimension. We are young people. Are we old people? Young people. People should feel our impact in this environment. This month they will feel our impact. Amen. You are blessed. Rise up on your feet. Hold your hands together. Have you been blessed? Hold your hands together. Hold your hands. Hold your hands. 